I will show you how to use Arduino to stream images from the OV7670 camera module to your computer. This tutorial is about the model without the FIFO chip. This video is a remake of my old OV7670 tutorial. Now you can get a full VGA color image over the USB cable. Or if you are ready to sacrifice the resolution, then you get almost a video stream. The first half of my old tutorial was about compiling the Java program. You don't have to do that anymore. I have created the Ardu Image Capture plugin for Arduino IDE that you can open from the Tools menu. First, open my article about the OV7670 project. The link is in the description box below. Then download and extract the Ardu Image Capture zip file. Create a new folder called Tools next to the Arduino Libraries folder. Then move the extracted Ardu Image Capture folder to the Arduino Tools folder. Make sure that you copy the Ardu Image Capture folder that directly contains the script files and a tool folder. For example, you might have these nested folders after extracting the zip file. In that case, you must copy the inner Ardu Image Capture folder without any version numbers in the name. After running the Arduino IDE, you should see the Ardu Image Capture option under the Tools menu. First, you need an Arduino Uno or a Nano. It is preferable to have an Arduino clone over a Genion Arduino, because for some reason you can't use the 1 and 2 megabit port rates with an original Arduino. The higher board rates work fine with a clone that uses the Chinese CH340 chip instead of an FTDI serial chip. But if you only have a genuine Arduino, you can still do it. But you are limited to half a megabit board rate. Unfortunately, this means that the maximum resolution you will get is a quarter VGA, 320 by 240. You need an OV7670 camera module without the FIFO chip, two 10K resistors for the I2C connection, and one pair of 1K and 680 ohm resistors for the clock's voltage divider. And finally a breadboard and a bunch of jumper wires. The very first step is to download the live OV7670 project from GitHub. The link is in the description box below. After extracting the zip file, copy the two library folders from SourceLeap to the Arduino libraries folder. Now open liveov7670.ino and switch to the setup.h file. By default, the code is configured to work with a tiny screen. To switch it to serial communication, change the example 1 to example 3. Select the example UART CPP tab from the top. Here you can see a list of pre-configured resolutions with various communication speeds. The default value is 320 by 240 at half a megabit port rate. This works on both the genuine Arduino and the clone. Upload the code to Arduino. Now comes the first checkpoint. Open Tools, Arduino Image Capture. Ensure that the correct COM port is selected and the baud rate is 500,000. Then click on Listen. You should see a solid red rectangle. This means that the communication is working, but the live OV7670 code did not detect the camera module. Let's start by creating a voltage divider for the camera input clock. Arduino will generate the clock pulses, and since it is a 5 volt signal, we need to get it down to about 3.3 volts for the camera module. Mm -hmm. 
The 1K resistor will connect to the ground. The 680 ohm resistor to the Arduino D3 pin. And uh, the output of the voltage divider to the camera's X clock input. Now I'm going to connect the I2C wires. Three point three volt pull up resistors. Arduino pins A4 and A5 to the pull-up resistors. A wire from A4 to SIOD. And finally a wire from A5 to SIOC. The V-Sync wire can be connected directly from Arduino pin D2 to the camera's VSync output. The same thing with the pixel clock. Arduino pin D12 to camera's P clock output. To power up the camera, we also need to connect the 3.3 volt power output from Arduino to the camera's 3.3 volt input and ground to the ground. To make sure that the camera will run, we need to pull the camera's reset pin to 3.3 volts and power down pin to the ground. Now comes the second checkpoint. Open Ardu image capture and click on listen. You should see a solid green rectangle then, within a couple of seconds, you should see V-Sync in the message box. And then the image should go black or maybe some random noise since all the pixel wires are still floating. If the image is still red, recheck all the wiring. If the image is green and V-Sync doesn't appear, check the V-Sync wire. If the picture stays green, then check the pixel clock wire. The final step is to connect all the pixel data wires. Connect Arduino pins A0 to A3 to cameras D0 to D3. And Arduino pins D4 to D7 to cameras D4 to D7. Open Ardu image capture again and click listen. Now you should see a 320 by 240 image appear on the screen. If not, check the pixel wires. You can change the UART mode parameter to experiment with different resolutions. You have to select the correct baud rate that matches the selected mode. You can also check out my other tutorial connecting the OV7670 to a tiny LCD screen. With that you can get the speed up to 10 frames per second. Thank you for watching!